So the other day on Twitter, I saw this clip of a no jumper interview, obviously conducted by that man, Adam 22. He's talking to this girl, Blue Jasmine. Apparently, he's going to tell her that she needs therapy and she's going to get pissed. And just based on that short clip I saw on Twitter, I figure I would come and do a reaction to the full 11 minute video because honestly, it seemed like great content. Honestly, recently, I've changed my tune on Adam 22. I used to kind of feel like he was nothing more than an old man hanging out with young rappers and doing a lot of drugs. But now I feel like he's kind of changed his tune. I know he's had a child recently. I know he's going to be getting married soon. And I've been watching a lot of his interviews. And honestly, I feel like he's gotten so much better. This guy is not scared to ask any question. He's actually starting to remind me a little bit of like an early 2000s Howard Stern. I mean, I've heard this guy ask some crazy shit. Either way, let's just get right into this one. I'm pretty sure Adam's going to be schooling this woman who's pretty much just a gold digger. It just literally happened to me last week again. I was Explain. coming back from Miami from the Fresh and Wow, those nails are fucking insane. Also, shout out to the Fresh and Fit podcast. Those guys are dope. I feel like unless it's financial, men don't, it's hard for me to get turned on by a man. Like, to me, it's like, yeah, no, I'm good. You know wow. what I mean? Yeah, like, unless, I think, like, even watching a man spend his money, like, recently I was at the strip club and watching a man spend his money even on other women turns me on. You know what I mean? It's just, like, it makes me feel like, wow, like, you're... Wow, that's fucking insane. That's like this new generation of women, at least the ones who are like uh, easily impressionable by these women who are like, oh, you need to scam, oh, you need to finesse, oh, you need to get the bag by any means. She literally just said she cannot get turned on unless a man is throwing out some paper, spending a little bit of money. I think you need therapy. <laughs> Fuck you. I mean, I'm just serious. Like, you have to Why do I need therapy for getting what I want just for living? Okay. If you're a woman who could get turned on by a guy for other reasons, and then you also get turned on by a guy spending money on you, I guess I could understand. But when you say you only get turned on by a guy who's throwing money at you, I mean... I mean, that, that, that's like the first thing. And then, you know, then I'm curious now. Who, like, oh, okay, you're hot. Big dick energy. You know what I mean? Oh, my uh -huh. God. These types of women are just so cringy. Like, uh, I just don't get what they think is gonna happen in the future, you know, like when the looks wear off and the makeup ain't makeup in like it used to. And honestly, I hate to say it, but this girl is pretty much just subpar. You know she's out here with the Splenda daddies, okay? It ain't no sugar daddy action going on. What kind of financial circumstances did you grow up under? Like, were you poor growing up? Hell yeah. Oh, I was okay. in, I had, my mother was 18, my father was 21. My dad had a couple crack houses, so he had money and cars and stuff, but it was wow. like good shit, you know what I mean? So yeah, I have no bread. Uh-huh. I had to get it out the mud. I guess that does probably partially explain it. Is getting money from older men who have money and are really just seeing you as an object really getting it out of the mud? I would think maybe, you know, pulling yourself up by your bootstraps and actually making a name for yourself, actually... I don't know, opening your own business or something like that instead of just opening up your legs is more what people mean when they say they got it out the mud. I mean, just like your male role model having crack houses. <laughs> I guess that's probably... Yeah. Gotta explain some of but this. But my dad did financially Adam, you're wrong for that, bro. my whole life until I was 21, until I finished college. Right. But mm -hmm. he was also basically committing genocide, <laughs> destroying his own community to make no, money. No, that was to... just why he... Adam, you're wrong for that, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> Well, let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. I mean, good Lord. He was young after like he was. <laughs> and not, no hate on people selling crack or anything, because I understand a lot. It would be unfair for me to hold your dad to that standard when a lot of the people I interview have obviously uh, probably killed tons of people with the drugs that they were selling. Say it was me and we were dating and I was paying for an apartment that you were living in and paying for the car and we broke up. I would say, I'm taking it all back. And then what are you gonna do? Like, I'm gonna say, get it back in blood, bitch. Yeah, and I mean, I probably, <laughs> like, if I gotta send some, some people to, you know, kick <laughs> yeah, you out of I the guess. apartment or whatever, I guess I gotta do that. But I hope they don't have to hurt you or whatever, but I'm probably, and God I would like damn. to not be there since uh, me being part of it doesn't seem like a good idea. But like, I mean, yeah, just to be honest, like, if you're living this type of lifestyle and uh, a man is literally buying you everything you own and, Maybe he bought you a car. Maybe he bought you a new pair of titties. Maybe he got you that BBL. 
I mean, he might snatch that all back. You might wake up in a bathtub covered in ice with no more titties in your chest. I'm just being honest with you, especially with the uh, types of men this woman is probably hanging out with. No morals, just chilling, just vibes. Honestly, dumb things have never happened to me. But I, know, I would but just, just imagine that I would not, um, I wouldn't leave easily. And I don't have a shame in saying that. Like, I'm not, yeah, no. It's just not happening. You're not going to kick me out of space that you placed me in. Like, you're going to have to wait until I'm comfortable enough or until I'm ready to do what but I need to do. It's just so interesting you say you're not going to when legally it's their right to. <laughs> and they it's the right thing, in my opinion, for them to be able to. And there's yeah, nothing facts. that you could do to stop them. And if the cops were called or if it was taken to court, they would rule that you were wrong. And you see, that's the problem with the logic of... Uh, some of these people out here whether it be men or women they seem to think that no matter what the law says no matter what society says or whatever it is that doesn't matter you know if they feel something and uh, they think it's right then that's what in their mind they think is actually gonna happen when in reality there's absolutely no logic to anything she's saying here and if someone who was funding her lifestyle wanted to get her the fuck up out of wherever they put her at they could do so very quickly I mean, you guys have to understand that in these situations, these women have zero leverage. They're literally at the mercy of whoever's paying for their shit. And just think that life is supposed to be some whimsical party that they're always going to be invited to because they think they're so sexy. Jurors, what, what, what basis does this, this I cockiness have? I don't have? really know the laws, you know, so I can't really fight that. Um, right. But I know that I'm going to stick it out until I can't. Yeah, you're going to have to drag me out of there. Yeah. And they will. Right. But just, there, you, you'll be surprised that I've received cash apps from, from men after this. Like, men are in my DM sending me money who I don't even know. Right. Who probably will never meet me, who don't know where I live, don't know anything about me but this, what they see on the internet, and they're sending me money. I mean, I won't lie, that's probably true. In this internet era, there's, like, more simps than ever, more willing to just open up their wallets for any single online thoughty that they see. So some people see a beautiful woman and they're like, maybe I want to buy her a car because that's going to help her get from point A to point B. Maybe I want to put her in a house because that's going to, she's going to be sheltered and it's going to be because of me. Right. Wow, that's an absolute super simp. I mean, I guess there really is a lot of men out there like that. I mean, I'm sure a lot of them are really old and not desirable anymore or if ever. I mean, if you go to a place like Las Vegas, you're going to see it all the time, okay? Some young, sexy thing in a really tight dress, wearing some seven-inch heels, walking in with a guy who honestly looks like he belongs in a retirement home, but he's got the biggest fucking smile on his face. I always just wonder, though, if those women ever have, like, a moment where they really think, is this really worth it? Like, is the lavish lifestyle and all this stuff really worth it to have to touch this old wrinkled dick a couple times a week. And for some, maybe it is. You know, I'm not necessarily knocking the hustle, but it is kind of hard for me to understand from both standpoints whether you're the old ass rich man or the young hot woman. I really just think you're two people searching for a fulfillment that's really never gonna come. It's like you're chasing something that's completely unauthentic. And some people like to support women. Some random woman having a nice car. Yeah, and that makes men feel good. Listen, the other day, oh yeah, with the taxi situation, I was about to say that story, came off the flight to Miami, my phone was dead, so I had no choice but to talk to this person. I was annoyed at first. He's talking to me, telling me about the cars that he has, and I'm like, can you buy me a car? And at first he's laughing, like, ha ha, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, I'm really serious, I really need a car. Like, mm. my car is messed up, da da da, you know, bullshitting, whatever. Damn, she's bold as fuck. She meets a guy at the airport, and uh, 10 minutes into a conversation, she's like, Hey, by the way, could you buy me a car? This is a whole nother level of entitlement. So I exchanged, so then we were talking, you know, we, we continued to talk, but he wasn't like, he wasn't really jacking it, like during the, our initial like car ride, mm -hmm. gave him my phone number. He's literally been calling me the last five, six days trying to get me to meet him at the dealership, but I've Cap. been so busy running around with everything that I haven't had the chance to. Yeah, the cap rate's over 9,000. Okay, I feel like a lot of the things that she's saying in this video actually are not true. Every single day. Are you going to meet me today at the dealership? Are you going to meet me today at the dealership? Are you going to meet me today at the dealership? Uh, that he wants to get me a car. Don't know this person. Literally had a one hour taxi ride that I didn't have to pay for. If you're driving a taxi, you're not making enough money to buy a random woman a car. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Some people, you don't know. 
I mean, you kind of do that. Like, driving a cab is not the best job. I've watched YouTube videos about people who drive <laughs> Uber and shit. They make, like, you know, 500 yeah, bucks she's a week, lying. whatever. I mean, it's well, cool, according to him, but... according to him, he has an X, whatever the fuck, BMW. He has a Porsche. He, you know what I mean? He put his door... <laughs> he has a Porsche and a BMW, but he's out here driving a fucking taxi. I also wonder how many of these women are just sold on some sort of ludicrous dream that never is actually going to come true, but these guys just want to smash, so they just tell them, oh yeah, I have this, and I have that, and I can do this for you, and I can do that for you, when in reality, they can't. But they know how materialistic you are, so it's so easy to reel you in. No one forced you to do these things for me, so it's like, once you give it to me, it's mine. I do agree that these men, if they want to spend money on these relationships or whatever then that's that's cool that's like their prerogative etc i do think we need to address like the simp culture where so many guys think that this is like a good use of their time or money i think it just says like really horrible things about men in general that so many men are this stupid yeah i mean it's so fucking true guys i think the sad reality though is that a lot of men out there are probably very lonely a lot of them are probably out here searching for love searching for some kind of intimate connection but I'm sorry guys, when you feel like you're paying for that intimate connection, whether that be through actual money or material possessions, I just think that's a formula for feeling very empty inside. But I don't know guys, is spending money on women that don't really care about you, you know, actually like a balling thing to do? Let me know down below in the comments. As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching and subscribing today. I don't know uh, how Adam22 hasn't lost more brain cells at this point. But as always, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. It's been your boy, the Tan Superman, and I'm out. Peace.